Hiya, welcome to another video view and we have got loads and loads of videos stacked up for you to have a, a look at tonight along with our two special guests who are sitting in our armchairs ready to give their views. Uh, on my left, the guy who not only makes records for himself, but he makes records for other bands like Prefab Sprout. Please welcome Thomas Dolby. Good morning. Good morning. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Honey. And uh, how long are you over then? Because you're, you're living in America now, aren't you? Yeah, just a couple of weeks this time. All right, good to see you. And of course, your, uh, the video to your current single got huge rave reviews last week from the guests so sitting here. I'm so, very flattered. So good, well that's you. And a guy who uh, has graced Night Network before, he's been on Shard Attack many times, from the fields of the Nephilim, please welcome Carl McCoy. Good morning. Good morning. And what is very interesting is that just after you were on Shard Attack, you were going out to where Thomas lives in, that's in right, Los Angeles. Yeah. And yeah. how did it go? Uh, it was great, uh, yeah. you know, went down really well, good reception and that. It's the first time, considering it's the first time we've been there, it was, it was great. Didn't, Defin wanna, didn't wanna come back. Definitely back again. What, back to the back. States? Yeah, yeah, yeah I oh. think at the end of the year. Okay, right, let's uh, get into those videos straight away. First of all, this morning, we have a band who, uh, another band who've made that lucrative trip, Ferry Across the Mersey. Yes, it's the Christians, they're back. Now this is their fifth single, and uh, see what you think of Born Again, the Christians. <laughs> The Christians, born again. Right, Carl, not your cup of tea, that one? Not really, it just seems like typical of a, a band in their sort of position, you know, bit of performance, nice location. I'm not really interested in that much. No? No. What, what about the song? Do you, do you like the Christian stuff? Uh, I'm not really that familiar with it, but um, it was, seems to be like most of the... Uh, videos that are shown in the daytime mm -hmm. on the TV. The, uh, the Christian's album has sold, you know, sold loads and loads, and I think that's uh, yeah. my favourite from that LP. Thomas, you, you, your cup of tea, that one? Well, I really like the bulldozer. Uh, <laughs> I've always had a bit of a fetish for bulldozers. <laughs> and uh, I would, personally, I would rather have seen more of the bulldozer, bulldozer, and, bulldozer and less yeah. of the group, you know. I mean, they seem like a nice bunch of boys, you know, and mm -hmm. a tuneful song and so on, but that bulldozer was really happening. <laughs> Because, <laughs> yeah, you, you uh, directed your video. Mm. But what would you have done with, with, say, a record like that, just off the top of the head? You know, what, do you see, like, the well, bulldozer? Off the top of the head, is that a pun? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yeah. That was, actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what well, would you have done? Actually, it was interesting that a band called The Christians have got a song with Born Again in it, mm. but, I mean, I'm sure it doesn't have any religious implications. Hard to say, really. Um, I, I just sort of thought there was, uh, you know, when the video started out, there's quite a lot of tension, dramatic tension, with, you know, shots of the big... You know, Abbey or whatever it was, mm -hmm. and then like all this rubble and stuff. And uh, I would have liked to have seen, you know, maybe a little bit more of that. But uh, and and you know, the the band when we saw them, I think the guy's got an interesting voice and stuff and an interesting look. But they looked a little bit sort of, you know, bored, kind of miming to their song. Yeah, I think actually most of their videos that they've looked very much the same. Yeah. Similar kind yeah. of, you know, yeah. the outside. Uh, yeah places. Nice, look like a nice location there. Anyway, let's move on to uh, video number two. This is a four-piece whose last single, Unbearable, actually received loads and loads of kind of airplay on radios and on Night Network at the end of last year. Here's the latest offering from The Wonder Stuff, and this one's called Give Me More. There's The Wonder Stuff there, and uh, I wonder if they got permission to use all those... <laughs> Pictures in the back. A few people there mm. checking out their accounts tonight. Mm. What do you reckon about that then? I would say probably not actually. <laughs> uh, it costs such a fortune to get you know stuff like that in there mm -hmm. that uh, they probably just just nicked them. They there look they go. Like they don't care much. Yeah. Pardon? They look like they don't care whether they pinch them or not. Actually, as long as their video looks right, okay. comes across quite as like they're quite a good live band. I think. Yep. And yeah. And they don't do like what a lot of bands do, just try and glamorise themselves and that. Yeah. It was, he looks a bit like Johnny Rotten, I think. I mean, with uh, longer hair, but he's... Oh, that guy, yeah. 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 Got a bit of it's quite punky, sense. actually, wasn't it? The, the yeah, video, the way it was jumping around It wasn't there. bad for a performance video, I yeah. thought. Is that the kind of uh, video that you would perhaps, next time it's on a kind of music uh, show, if it came on, you have another look to see if you've missed anything? Um, I, don't, I don't know about that, you know, but it uh, wasn't subtle enough for me. I'd, to watch something again, I have to sort of... I don't know, I have to be quite subtle so I can really uh -huh. delve into it, like, you know, mm. but that was, it was there and it was on and mm. see. How about you, Thomas? Because you must get, you know, like, in America, there must be loads of channels pumping out the, the music. Is that something that would catch your eye again if you were, you know, settling back at well, home? I don't know, I sometimes find it a bit irritating when things are cutting around so fast, you know, when you're getting so many pictures, yeah. it gives me a bit of a migraine. Mm -hmm. um, 
but getting back to bulldozers for a moment. Uh, <laughs> Why not? Uh, there's a guy. Uh, there's a guy called Christos. You know, the, this artist that that builds um, curtains across valleys and things. And uh, you know, I was just sort of reminded of this. He, he's got a huge ranch in, I think it's Arizona. And when he gets bored with his view outside his window, he goes out with a bulldozer and rearranges it. And, um, uh, you know, you've got to hand it to the guy. He's definitely got class. So, yes, yeah, you know, nothing to do with the video. There you go. Bit of information there. By the way, if you took part in our uh, Tina Turner competition, we'll give the winner of that very, very soon. Now we've got a group from Hull who, back in 1985, set off on what they said would be a three-year recording mission. Well, that contract is up in June this year, and after that, the House Martins will be no more. Until then, here's There's Always Something There to Remind Me. Hmm. I'm on the news. Hmm. Ask, ask. Nah, I just stopped at the wrong bit there. The reason I stopped it there with the, this kind of the caretaker there is because he's the guy who actually directed that video. His name's Jeff Baines. So, uh, getting in on the act there? Well, if uh, you know, if everything else falls through for him, uh, maybe he could get a job as a caretaker. Uh, as a caretaker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean. Um, I had a horrible time at school. I don't know about you. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I don't like I people being nostalgic, boring. you know, about yeah. school days because because I hated school. They, the, the, all the kids there come from a school called the Bishop Douglas School in Finchley, and they recorded that during the Easter holidays. And they all wanted to be there, so they, they didn't actually have to go back to school during the holidays. But uh, mm. you, you were up there very quick there, Carl. No, no, no like nothing. I didn't, didn't do nothing. The song didn't do nothing. Or the video. I found a video very, very boring actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thomas? It's hard to say, it looks a bit promising maybe at the beginning, I quite like the first shot, but um, but after that, not really, no, not really. Because they do make uh, very, very catchy records though, don't they, the House Martins? You know, oh, they certainly... Really hum, they, hum along to them. Yeah, they certainly do, <laughs> but uh, that's still no excuse for um, getting cheap labour by getting a bunch of school. No, I'm sure, I'm sure they want to... No, I'm only kidding, I'm only, excuse me, I'm only being facetious, but um, I like their records a lot actually, mm -hmm. but I um, uh, didn't really like, or at least this, I didn't know this song up to now. Right. Didn't like it very much. And well, like after June, they will be no more. No more house minds. What can I say? Good. Right, thanks to Carl, thanks to Thomas. It's half time.